checking out of you. It's only 80 degrees out. This is R22. 470 on the high side. 90 on the low. From what I've heard, they've overcharged it because it has a restriction. If they pull charge out, the unit don't cool. I can't believe this thing isn't tripping the internal relief valve. It's only 80 degrees out. This gets up to 105 uh, this last week during the peak of the day. It's just crazy. Don't think it has non-condensables in it, because that's pretty rock steady. Three degree liquid line. <laughs> So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, almost 90 degrees subcooling. I don't even see how this thing's working. That's insane. I have it screwed on a secondary gauge just to make sure that this one's reading right. Indeed it is. Well over 450 PSI. Damn. I'm moving some refrigerant. It's a pound and a half. Take a couple pounds out and see what this thing does. There's two right there. Put that balance out. We'll put some back in. Let's see, where is the subcooling right now? 100. No, see, I got subcooling is good. That's actually the right amount of refrigerant in it. So, uh,. I got about 15 degrees subcooling. Put just a little bit back in there. And I could go diagnose the coil, the metering device. It's frosting right here. It's got a restriction before the TXV. I wonder if they have a piston in there. <laughs> it's not restricted. You could tell it's frosting right here. Even frost on all six capillary tubes so it's not restricting like in the coil right here is that well, I don't need the coil <laughs> I can see exactly where restriction is no I just need to go pump down the system right. no there's no 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 room for piston right there nope so here's here's what it's got to be see that screen right there That's going to be plugged. So. Okay, just cut it, and that looks pretty restricted to me. I can't even blow through it, so. Anyway, I'm going to take that out and clear it out. Put a coupler in there and uh, solder it together. It'll be fine. I think I might put a filter dryer. Look at that stuff. I think that's a restriction. <laughs> nice. That's how much debris no. was packed in this. Yeah, so. Dang. Well, I neutered that screen there. Put a filter dryer right here so ain't nothing getting to that again i'm gonna go outside now and uh gotta recover the charge now and then uh pull that filter out there and straight pipe it okay out here i have uh removed this cheesy tiny liquid line filter dryer and bypassed it just straight piped it right there because up in the attic is where i put that uh new filter dryer Oh yeah, look at that. I can get this up in the light somehow. Let me turn the light on. Hopefully you can see that. There it is, I think. Yeah, so it's coming apart. That debris and that uh like the TXV in there was definitely from this filter right here. So that was the problem. Other company diagnosed changed expansion valve. 
still had a problem, so they were going to come back and change the coil for almost two grand. But just the screen before the expansion valve, they would have put come out and probably put that coil in new expansion valve and still had a problem because they would have just not realized where the restriction was. So nothing was wrong with the coil or that expansion valve that's in there right now, which you know I haven't started up. I'm sure of it. So. We'll start uh, vacuuming this down as I've pressure tested it and we'll see what happens. Got it all back together. The refrigerant put back in the system. Got about 14 or 12 degrees of subcooling. 12, that's close enough, 12 degrees. And uh, 56, about 12 degrees of superheat. So. Definitely the suction's pretty high, but it's a little, TXV's throttled open now with it a little warm and humid in the house. But uh, yeah, 245 on the high side. <laughs> that thing was running 450 before with, uh, I feel how many degrees of subcooling I've never seen before. Now, like I said, about 12 degrees subcooling. 245 on the high side, 95, 90 or so on the low. And those amps were over 12 amps on the compressor before, so it's 10 amps right now. A little lower when the load comes down in the house. It was cool when I got here when I took those readings earlier. That was at the cool house when I was running 450. So, yeah, she said she heard it opening the pressure relief every once in a while. So, crazy. So, yep, so pretty simple fix. It was that, just that restriction in that uh, fitting, screen filter fitting before the expansion valve, and that uh, stock filter dryer was coming apart, so. It's a lot better than the price you would have paid to have the coil replaced that was uh, not the problem.